This is Nibiru. The ancients called this the planet of the crossings. And basically, this is one of the greatest depictions of Nibiru that is out there on the net as of now. So, you get these clowns that come here uh, and challenge me. I'm the last one you want to challenge because I'll prove everything that I say to be true because this information comes from the Spirit of God and it does and these videos are given to me by the Spirit of God which lead me right to the ones that I need to prove truth true and falsehood false and so yes this is Nibiru in all of its splendor and glory and basically we got this guy that comes and says uh this is not Nibiru, get your facts straight. Or people say, these are lies. It's not the truth. You know, it's fake. And whatever else you guys say, that is uh, your ticket to hellfire. And that's what it is. So I want you to watch this. And then I am going to prove Nibiru that you're seeing right here is what I say it is so how do we prove that where did it come from ancient Sumerian text that's where the name came from and it's called the planet of the crossing you know why you see that cross on the front of it that's why they call it the planet of the crossing there's your cross right there and we're gonna cross reference that with the ancient Sumerian tablets so this is Nibiru on the ancient tablets and look at it here it is again look at it and now we're going to match it up with the Nibiru I see look at it it's the same thing that's on the front of those tablets the crossing so you saw that crossing on the front of those tablets and now you see the crossing in the actual Nibiru now here it is again with the picture that I am showing you in the middle see how that match that's Nibiru that's why I match and then we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and then I put half of the crossing over there in the Nibiru to show that it's a perfect match and a perfect goddamn fucking fit ain't it that's what we looking at let's let's do an overkill I am sent by the spirit of truth to deliver God's warning to the inhabitants of this earth the truth that I am sent with is undeniable and comes with grave consequences for all those who hear what I'm speaking and for all those who turn away this spirit does not give a fuck for feelings or English language most people here have subscribed to this channel because they know without a shadow of a doubt that I speak the truth and it's from their Lord and never from me in any way this being said this may well be the last warning given to you all so please listen up the term Nibiru comes from the ancient Sumeria cuneiforms tablets which is accurate astronomical data dating back 6,000 years ago. And I'm not talking about the Anunnaki. I only speak about Nibiru. The 12th planet, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ, the 12 months in the year. The term Nibiru means planet of the crossing and its cuneiform sign was often a cross. They clearly reference this other planet. They reference it as a large glowing red planet. They, they reference it as a cross, a glowing cross in the sky. Various depictions of Nibiru initially showed it as a glowing cross in the sky. Eventually it started to migrate into more of a circular winged disk, also taking on the shape of a cross in the middle. Eventually, you can see as it's transgressed, we see it even in other cultures today, in uh, Egyptian as well as Akkadian and various other Semitic languages, referencing the winged so disc. So that everyone know what I'm talking about, there go your winged disc right there. Froze it right there, winged disc. And it's going to be matching the ancient Sumerian depiction of the winged disc. And now we're going to do a side-by-side -side analysis. Look at that. Those are your winged discs. I mean, it ain't going to get any more clearer than that. You know, that's it. And it's more to it. So, let's uh, continue. The Sumerian culture is the oldest known civilization we 
know of based on the artifacts and monuments that still remain. The ancient Mayans predicted the return date of Nibiru passing Earth during its 3600 year cycle. This coincides with the winter solace of 2012, specifically at 1111 uh, United Standard of UT time, December 21st, 2012. Methodically speaking, it has the appearance of a fiery beast appearing in the skies like a second sun. So biblically it's called Red Dragon. According to ancient text, Nibiru is wrapped in a cloud of dust iron oxide red making the rivers and lakes acquire a reddish color. 7. Remember the number 7. Nibiru according to ancient Sumerian Cuneiform tablets consist of Nibiru and six moons as depicted in this ancient drawing. It is called the Destroyer in Colbrin, a parallel Bible located in the monastery of Glastonbury in Scotland. It states, men forgot the days of the Destroyer. Only the wise knows where it went and that it shall return at the appointed time. It is the destroyer. Its color was bright and fierce and ever changing with an unsustainable appearance, a fierce body of flames. Jeremiah 4, 7, the lion has come up from his thicket and the destroyer of Gentiles is on the way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate and thy city shall be wastelands without inhabitants. Daniel 11.34, turn it around backwards, 11.34 is hell. Now when they fall, they will be granted a little help, and many will join with them in hypocrisy. Some of those who have insight will fall in order to refine, purge, and make them pure until the end time, because it is still to come at the appointed time. The king will do as he pleases, and probably trump. And he will exalt and magnify himself above every god and will speak monstrous things against the god of, of gods. And he will prosper until the indignation is finished. For that which is decreed will be done. Daniel 12.10 Many will be purified, cleansed, and refined by these trials. But the wicked will continue in their wickedness and none of them will understand. You ain't gonna understand. Only those who are wise will know what it means. So I showed you that Nibiru that we are seeing in the skies today is matching ancient Nibiru uh, texts. 100% without a shadow of a doubt as you see in this depiction right here. And as you see, it is matching the wing disc depic depiction as well. And as you see, it is also matching the cloud. Uh, it's, it's coming in a, a dust cloud depiction as well. And so now I am going to, without further ado, give you the warning. This is Nibiru. Whether you accept that it is or it ain't. They said, know your facts. Well, I showed you all the facts, all the truth, 
from biblical to ancient Samaria how much more facts do you need you know you devils in this tale it has millions of meteorites that is going to pound this earth to fiery powder it is going to make thy lands desolate like God speaks in the Bible this is the destroyer of Gentiles mentioned in Jeremiah this is what you are looking at and it doesn't matter if you get mad it doesn't matter if you don't like the truth it doesn't matter if you get scared you can't make this go away and so again I am a messenger a warner sent from God the spirit of truth is on me God lead me to all the information I need to tell you the truth I'm not asking that you subscribe I'm not asking you for a damn dime. You can give donations if you please. But no one's forcing anything on you. You know, a lot of these videos I don't make any money from. So that's not the case. I'm not asking you to like anything. I'm not asking you to comment. I don't really give a fuck about that shit. I'm asking you to change your life over where these meteors make an end of your wicked ass like Sodom and Gomorrah. Rap the news.